What's up? I'm Aaron Ross. We're up here at Empire BMX. I'm about to put together my light savior red Sunday. What's up? Hey Tom. Look at all this Good morning. Making wheels happen. He doesn't even sleep, he just builds wheels. Sleep. <laughs> sleep. What's <laughs> that? Instagram break. Putting a new bike together at Empire. Hey guys, we're here five hours later. My bike's still being Come built. Yeah. Stay tuned. I'm putting on the new Dugan Grand Slam pedals, the Odyssey pedals. I've been running them for about a year now, and to have more like surface to put your foot on is pretty amazing. I have pretty bad feet just from years of bike riding and all that good stuff, and it's pretty awesome to have a lot more surface to put your foot on. So if you have bad feet or just want some new awesome pedals, Tom Dugan Grandstands. If you ever need to know how to put grips on, I'm a pretty firm believer in some dry flow. But I also like to stretch my grips out, so the dry flow lets me put them on and then stretch them out pretty far so that I can get them to where I want them. How much dry flow should you use? You can use as much as you want, but the 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 the, the more the, like the less, less you use they'll like quicker it'll dry but they dry pretty quick anyways if you put like the whole thing in it would take a little while but it, it doesn't i put usually just like one ring around the first one and then just it's usually good to go but i just like it because when you blow it when you use the air hose to get it on you can't really like stretch it and then same for when you're doing other things like it wants like water it kind of keeps going back Trifle dries quick enough to where like it'll stay stretched out and I like my grips to be real long. I don't really like to cut my bars because it's a lot of work and at the end of the day you're cutting this much off and it's like, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> I guess if you're cutting two inches off or something, it makes sense, but at the end of it, it's some, I mean, some, of, some people cut off this much and it's like, I can live without that and I don't know. So I stretch my grips out so it'll get to the bend and I don't feel like I'm grabbing handlebar when I'm doing bar spins or something. So yeah. That's, that's, that's the reason. Some people hate putting bikes together, but I think it's so fun. I've loved putting bikes together since, I don't know, since getting Christmas parts for Christmas and like going in the garage and throwing all the bike parts on. It's just cool to see it go together and then also to know that you did it, to know that it's put together the way that like, I don't know, that I want to ride it and stuff. So I love putting new bikes together. So it's pretty, it's fun. And it's also fun putting an entire new bike together. Who doesn't love that? So. Pretty excited. What do they look like to you? Mm. <laughs> they look a little far forward. Okay. They're like taller than they were on my other bike. My other bike had no spacers. I think that's what's throwing me off. Looks pretty good. I've never, I don't, I've never been one to run a lot of air on my tires, but when I'm putting my bikes together, I like to air the tires up as hard as I possibly can so it'll stretch the tire out because I want them to be like, I want them to be as big as possible. I don't know why, it's just a looks thing. But I feel like if I air them up as much as I possibly can, it'll kind of stretch them out and make them look like as full as you possibly can when you let a lot of the air out. I don't know one of those things that might not actually do anything but I do it for <laughs> it makes me feel like it's doing something pretty stoked on this 
So, yep, that's it. Put a new bike together at Empire this morning. Only took about 10 minutes. Um, yeah, so I guess the next step is to go and try and ride it somewhere. Right? <laughs> Stoked on having a new bike.